Hey everybody, it's time for another monthly plan with me. I am planning January 2019. What on earth is even happening? But I'm using this beautiful kit from Dash of Sun Designs and I'm so excited. I got it in the Black Friday sale because that's they said I'm, I'm only allowed to buy these monthly kits if they're on sale because I love them so much, but they're so expensive because it's four pages, every page is foiled. They're stunning. I mean, I never use everything. Like you get a little too much. I, I feel like they could be three pages, but there's like a two page option that just isn't enough. So I feel like there's a, a happy medium there. But anyways, uh, they're too expensive for on the reg seeing how little I really use my monthly. So, but I decided that I'm allowed to treat myself if they're on on sale. So in Black Friday, I grabbed January and it's so beautiful. I love the, the gray and blue for the winter and I got it with silver foil. So you've got your first page here. You got this page. I think you're probably familiar with the format by now. And there we go. Uh, but yeah, so... So yeah, this is my first like proper spread in the new planner, which is so exciting. I've like stuck a, a couple stickers down, but really this is, uh, you know, in kind of the preliminary pages, but really this is the first real deal. So let's get started. I'm going to start with the basics, which means putting my two strips across the top. And then to cover up the little bit of flag that sticks up there, there is a flag right here. So I just put that, I kind of layer that over. And then I am going to do... Okay, let me think about this actually. So I've got these um I've got these boxes, so I will mark out the days that are not in the month there and there, so I have the perfect number. But then for the sidebar, I've got my stackable sidebar. Do I want to do four or do I want to do three and leave the February at a glance? I'll think about it. Maybe when I do it, I'll do three, and if it lines up perfectly, great. But if it starts to cover it, I'll just do the four. Yeah, I don't know. I think I'll. I'm gonna I'm gonna do that, and I'll I'll see where we're at, and then you'll see what happens. But yeah, I will do all of that, and then I will be back. Okay, so I decided in the end to just do the whole sidebar uh, because it was like there's space there and I didn't like know what to put there and I I had the sticker so like, you know, everyone has like their like weird planner quirk that when other people watch their plan with me's are probably like cringing or whatever but like my weird planner quirk is like using up stickers, like not wasting stickers. So if I have a sticker for it, like I'm going to use it. So, <laughs> um you know, I just, re I just hate wasting stickers so much. I save all my leftovers and I try and use them. I have way too many than I would ever be able to use, but like, I really don't like to waste stickers. So if I have a sticker for something that like comes in a kit, I'm probably going to use it. So that's what we did here. So I guess we can go ahead and label the sidebar while we're talking about it. So I have header sidebar headers on two sheets here. So I've been enjoying doing a gratitude. So we'll do that first. So I also like to match the header with the the box. Oh, oh, does it fit in the thing? I thought it had to go all the way across. I mean, I could have changed. I don't know. Okay, I guess it fits in the box then. Okay. Oh, it doesn't even quite fit the box. It's a little big. Whatever. It's fine. So I've got the gratitude, and I I like a next month. I like to like kind of look ahead to what's going on in the next month so we'll do that and then I've got two more so for the dark blue color um, work school goals to do and then events mail important to buy since I used to put a wish list in my notes page, but since the notes form page is very is just like a line thing this in this planner, I think I'm gonna use it differently. I'm considering maybe some kind of journaling in here. So I think I'm gonna take to buy and I can put since I was on like a pretty strict no spend for December, um, or like I was on a uh, like planner supply sticker no spend and like I had to buy Christmas presents and stuff I, there's probably a few things I'll like treat myself to in January so I think it's a buy list would work and like I don't know why I can't figure out how to line up these headers they look kind of bad but I don't really want to keep ripping them up so okay and then for the dark blue I could do maybe school or uh maybe I'll just do to do because that's like pretty miscellaneous 
and we'll see what goes in there or if I even use it. Okay, cool. So then I think we're ready to go day by day, or do I want to use, do the boxes first? Maybe the boxes first. So, oh, this one's a, oh, shit. Okay. I'm going to take this up. Okay, I just realized that <laughs> this one is not a write-in box. It was so faint. Like, the writing was so faint, I didn't notice. But it's a February at a glance. I, to I totally missed that. So I'm going to replace that um, sticker with the February at a glance. And then there we go. We got the best of both worlds. We got we get to have February at a glance and we get our full sidebar. So, okay, I'm going to put this sticker back. Um, that, was, that wasn't a problem at all. Worked. Where is it? Yeah, that way. Worked out totally fine. Okay, cool. So I have three right. I, I just thought it was four, like, right in boxes. I just totally didn't even notice. Okay, so actually, like, while well, I'm zoomed out, why don't I put my holidays first as well? Because I won't put right in boxes on those days. So New Year's Day, of course, the first. And MLK Day, the 21st. So we've got those beautiful foiled holidays in there. And then, okay, so to the right inboxes. Let's see, what days? I am speaking at a conference on the 19th, so that could be a good day to just have, like, a beautiful box. I'm going to just, like, light one since it's near the sidebar. I don't want too much color there. So that's pretty cool. And I think I'll just put the date numbers as I do that just so, just so I don't forget you know, I can easily look next to it and figure it out, but, you know, just visually it's easier if I can see what day it is. So that's the 19th there. And then, oh, 26. Uh, see, this is always the problem with using write-in boxes for big event days is that, like, a lot of the big event days end up being on the weekend. So they kind of, like, I don't really want to put one here. And then there's, like, a huge block of stickers here. So we are going to play on the 26th, but I think I won't do one there. So... I mean, I could do the 23rd. Yeah, let's do the 23rd because I have, like, another event that day. So this, like, snowy road is my favorite, so I'll use this one here. And then what other day could we do one? Um... Okay, and yeah, so I've got one more. I mean, I also have this one. Maybe I'll just wait until there, till I see a day that doesn't have any event, and I'll use this as just a decorative one uh, since you can't write in it. So that would be at the end. So, okay, so one more event I want to place. I mean, balance-wise, maybe like the third, but I don't have anything on the third, and it's a Thursday, so nothing is likely to come up. Um... I could also do, like, the 6th. The 6th is a friend's birthday, but I think maybe I'll, maybe I'll do the 6th because it's a Sunday, and it's kind of, it feels pr pretty balanced out to have it over here, even though this is against this. It's like, I feel, yeah, that feels fairly balanced, so, to me. So, um, yeah, and then, like, a Sunday is, you know, more likely to have something come up uh, that maybe I could write in nice and big. Okay, cool. So those are the write-in boxes, and then I think, I think let's go day by day at this point, so, okay. So the first is New Year's Day, as we've already put, and I also want to put a day off uh, sticker because it's my partner's last day off of the holiday season, so I'll mark that. And then it is also, uh, there's a TV show coming on, so... Let's just get a label and flag for a series of unfortunate events coming back on Netflix. So that is the first. And then the second is a friend's birthday. So I'm going to take a little birthday flag up here. And I think I'm, I think I'm going to mark my partner going back to work. Yeah, I think that's like interesting enough to mark. So we will grab a label and because like what else am I going to put on a random Wednesday? So I'll put that in 
And then is there an icon that makes sense for Will going back to work? Maybe a car, because it's like commuting, you know? Okay. So that would be for Will returning to work. Will's first day back at work. And then nothing until Saturday the 5th where I have a bill due. So get that. Get rid of the bill dues for my, this is for my cell phone bill. And that's it. Okay. Sixth, as I mentioned, another friend's birthday. So I'm going to take another one of those birthday flags up top. Cool. And then plenty of space to put something in if I want to, or it can just be decorative if nothing comes up. And then on the eighth, no, ninth, sorry, is a graze box. So I usually put those with like these reminder flags. So I'm just going to take a couple of these. We'll do one for the 9th and then one for the 23rd. For my graze boxes, so I don't need to mark that huge. So it's just like a little reminder, you know, a little thing. Cool. So that's it for the 9th. Then on the 11th, one I would say it's easily one of my favorite shows. Um... Brooklyn Nine Nine is coming back, so I'm gonna take a take a label for that. What did I say that was the eleventh? Yeah. Oh, but I won't watch it till the twelfth. Hmm. But I have a bill on the twelfth, so I'll put it on the eleventh. It's fine. So Brooklyn Nine Nine is back. I'm so excited for the new season. So I'm gonna put so excited that it is getting a new season. So I'm gonna put my other TV icon and then. I have other TV shows coming back this month, but we'll figure that out when we get there. And then the 12th, as I said, is a bill due day. So this one. that's for um, renewing my Oyster card. And then I don't have anything until the 17th. So we, oh, sorry, you couldn't see that. So, okay, but then we're on to the 17th already. So that is where the other two okay so it's, a, it's another birthday it's my cousin's birthday so we got another birthday flag here yeah 17 and then it is the i think it's a payday too i'm not 100 percent sure that i'm gonna hang on i'm gonna hold off on that because I, I know i have a student loan payday coming in january but i'm not sure which day so i'm gonna hold off on putting that in but I do have the beautiful payday flags when I'm ready for that. But anyways, it is also two other TV shows coming back. So I could put a bigger thing. Because, I mean, it's, uh, it's like kind of a random day. It's like a, it's a Thursday. It's a, it's a week random weekday. I don't know really that anything else is going to come up. So I could just put a bigger one that could fit both of the, you know, easily fit both of those TV shows. And then I'm sure I have some kind of emoji or some such that I can use. Okay, so I have the TV Addict sheet. Um, I don't have the giant TV. So I have this one watching TV, but the red I feel like would clash because the spread is so cool toned. So... So I could take this one that's a little bit smaller. Yeah, why not? Okay, so I'm going to take this TV emoji with the gray that matches well. And I can put um, that The Good Place and How to Get Away with Murder are both coming back on that day, which is great. Very excited for those as well. I'm rewatching The Good Place right now with my partner. Uh, and he's like into it, so it's great. So then we can watch it uh, together when it comes back. Okay, cool. And then I have a meeting on Friday. So I will grab a little... For that and I'll use which type of an icon is there like eh, there's a few that I could use maybe uh, I'll just use the asterisk I think for that and then the next thing oh then I have the conference of course okay so I'm gonna want like something larger to mark that, but I'm not really sure what. Ooh, you know what? You know what? I have these stickers of myself, a picture of myself all dressed up, and I this I might wear this exact outfit to the conference. This is kind of how I dress for conferences. I like to get dressed up. 
and like the colors are like you know mainly blue and gray and I have literally no use for these stickers so I never get to use them so I'm gonna use one in here and like that's me giving the conference presentation and I'm very excited to finally be using that sticker cool and these are from crafty planning by the way they're uh, custom so they like draw you and then make stickers out of you the sticker quality isn't like awesome but I don't need to write on them so it's like not the end of the world it's more about like having the cool custom art so that's like drawn from a picture of me so yeah it's pretty cool anyways that's for the conference then on the 20th I am you know trying to pay it's not paying it forward it's like paying it backwards anyways uh someone is doing some research not really that similar to mine but basically that I would qualify to be a participant in so I want you know I want I'm always grateful that when people you know let me interview them so I'm gonna have this person interview me for their research so what would work for that I think I think I'll do like a house because I think they might just come over to my house um not sure might meet in we'll probably meet in some type of building so that works for that and then I have the MLK day already in there and I have Grays already in there on the 23rd, but then that's also a very exciting day. Um, that's my mock Viva. So if you're not from the UK or you're not like in academia, um, the Viva is like what in America we would call a thesis defense. Um, it's similar, uh, it's like the equivalent of that. And uh, yeah, so I'm having a practice one with my supervisory team on this day. So that's why I used a write in full box because it's pretty exciting. And I think for this one, actually, I could use like a stressed out emoji. So what do I have? I want to use a neutral. I have this one, but they're, that's more like rushing. I could do like the pa throwing papers. Actually, I can... Let's see. Oh, I'm not sure which size I want to use either. I have this sheet. I have so many sheets. I have this sheet. Okay. These are probably all the sheets that are in the running to use. Okay. So, I mean, I could use this, but it's not necessarily school specific. I could use, like, all the papers. Uh, I think, actually, I do want to use the medium size. I think the big size is, like, maybe a little bit too big. In which case, I think the sweating on the laptop is the best one. So I'm going to put the sweating on the laptop emoji there, and then that will be probably pretty accurate to how I'll be feeling, because I'm like, I'm really grateful to be doing it and like excited to have that kind of practice, but also like really nervous <laughs> about it, because you know, it's difficult and scary. So anyways, that is the 23rd, yeah. And then 24th, I have a haircut scheduled, so that in okay and I'm gonna take doo -doo -doo -doo. yeah the scissors and comb oh that one's is that one a little off cut maybe it's off printed it doesn't look off cut it looks in line with the other ones but the icon is way at the bottom of the flag compared to the other ones I don't know yeah maybe it's just the printing strangeness I don't know anyways uh so I've got my hair cut then I've got a bill due on the 25th because that's when my GP sticker studio mystery kits payment goes out uh of my account and the previous month ships or the current month yeah the current month ships the next month gets charged that's how it works and then it's also a friend's birthday so let me grab my final birthday flag I hope that's oh crap it's not the last birthday that's okay. The last birthday is for, uh, well, I mean, they're all special. I'm not going to say that, but like kind of more family. So I can put that in a, in a label anyways. So yeah, that's for my friend Kat's birthday. The 26th, as I mentioned, we are going to a play. We're going to see Wicked, which I'm so excited about. Um, and I kind of want to use like one of these foiled labels because it's like a little more special. I was going to use like a big one, but I don't really have a, a an emoji or something that would work specifically for that. So I think maybe want to use one of these to make it a little more special. And it is a, a it is my partner and my Christmas gift from my mom is to is these tickets to Wicked. So 
that's pretty cool. And I have, I, I use these usually when we go to the theater, even though it doesn't like quite make sense, but, um, I use like the film things cause it's like entertainment related, even though it's technically probably for a movie. I don't have like, I always say this, I need to get some theater related stickers. I've just never really found any, but yeah. Anyways, so that's the 26th and then I literally don't have anything else until that birthday that I talked about. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit more and that's on the 31st. So that is for my, my brother-in-law's girlfriend. Yes, that's right. <laughs> and I'll put that in a label since I don't have anything else that day as well. And there's plenty of room if something does come up. And here we go. Yes, because I know that there is gift icons. So I can just put her birthday in there. Great. Okay, cool. So I think I'm ready to zoom out now because that is everything that I know for now, which is actually, I feel like, a pretty decent amount of stuff so let's see okay I did want to put this as like another little decoration and I feel like a Tuesday is like a day that's not likely to really get anything so I'll put that there why not let's see if anything jogs my memory I'm gonna hold off on the payday I know it's this week but I'm not 100% sure what day and I've only got three bill dues yep okay so like I might do like sometimes I like to scatter a few headers over things so I'll mark this meeting as important oh wait a minute that doesn't that line up I swear that used to okay these are definitely shorter because these used to go across the whole box here and they definitely used to go across the whole thing here so these are shorter which is fine I just didn't know that so I'll still use it actually I'll just center it that's fine so I'll mark that as important. Okay, cool. And then any of these other ones I want to use or meh, not really. I don't think. Nah. Okay, cool. And then I didn't have any, like I didn't need the strips this month. I didn't have any time to mark out. And yeah, all of these other labels and icons I can pull in as the month goes on. So, okay. I'm just going to put my date squares uh, sped up and then I'll be back for the finished product. Okay, so that is the finished bread. I think it looks amazing. And you kind of had a sneak peek at what I have left. Let me just run it through you. So I've got three more foiled labels. I like to save for like, you know, kind of special stuff. But we'll definitely try and pull those in as the month goes on. I have some day offs, four appointments, two reminders. Again, pull them in when and where I can. Strips. Uh, sometimes I stack those to make extra labels if need be. I've got loads of icons to pull in again as the month goes on. I have tons of labels and some headers. I've got some paydays, more headers, loads of bill dues, and some more of those thicker labels. So yeah, you get so much, as I said, with this kit. Probably could be a three-page kit with a little bit of paring down, but it is absolutely stunning. And there's a little wiggle of that beautiful silver foil. And thank you so much for watching this monthly plan with me. I really hope you enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up if you did. And please, please, please subscribe. It would mean the world to me. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.